you claim to be if you don't have an authentic woman of God in your life who can hold you into accountability then your gift ain't going nowhere many of you all are quoting that a woman ought to submit she ain't supposed to submit to any man she's supposed to submit to a man who is submitted under God if he ain't submitted don't you buck your knee you better stand right down until you find the man you, you are listening to men who have no authority how can a man say that you are of low value after 35 how can a man say that you do not have the level of traction of a high-powered man when that man has got to get a GoFundMe for his funeral? Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. You, you got to be in that place where you operate in the authority of God. Look at the, another sister around you. Tell him, it's not that I hate men. Come on, look at another sister and say, I do not hate men. I just despise weak men. I despise cowardice men. I just ain't got time for men who are insecure about my gift. I'm not going to dummy down because of what God got me. I don't have to lower my standard. That man got to step all the way up to deal with a queen on my level. This Negro, and I'm talking about the guy on the left, Pastor Jabal Bryant, going in on Kevin Samuels, i.e. check that man's lips for some lip gloss because he was seriously kissing the ass of all these females. And for those of you that actually follow my channel regularly, you already know. I do have cur currently a girlfriend who also does YouTube videos, the Nature Girl 30, who is also black. And I have a feeling if she was on here, she would agree with me. This guy's the last one that should be throwing any stones at Kevin Samuels. And the disrespect after the man has died tells me right there, even though I was not a fan personally of Kevin Samuels, you don't see me throwing dirt or throwing shade on him after he he died. And that tells me right there, the man probably said some things that was probably true. Because you don't come out, if it was somebody who was a clown, who was disrespectful, and didn't say anything, or didn't do anything worthwhile, trust and believe, nobody's gonna say anything. Nobody's gonna, cause nobody's gonna care. The fact that Vivica A. Fox, and now this pastor, is coming this hard at him after a day, which by the way, they had every opportunity to confront this man when he was living, every opportunity. Cause he hadn't been hiding, he's been around. He had every opportunity to confront this man. But they wait till after the man dies to, co to talk junk about him. That is the, to me, that's a big, to be, that's a straight up coward. I'm not gonna cuss and get in all language and all that, but that's just a straight up coward. I mean, that was cowardly of those women, Vivica A. Fox and her crew. That was, this is cowardly here. And Jamal Bryant, if I recall, didn't you not only cheat on your wife multiple times, didn't you also didn't even have the decency to use some form of protection? Well, first of all, you shouldn't cheat on your wife, especially if you hold the title and you're supposed to be a congregator of the church. This is what I was talking about when I mentioned Bishop Eddie Long. They didn't go this hard on him. And both of these guys did stuff that was just strict. That's why the church in general, the Christian church in general, and the black church in particular, is seen in the modern day, especially by younger people, as a big joke. It's seen as a big joke because of stuff like this. You're gonna be like, yeah, 
crazy. He's telling the truth. No, he's telling the truth because he's making you feel better because chances are when you leave that congregation, you're the one doing that same crap that Kevin Samuels was talking about. Kevin was one of the few guys that would come on a public forum and call, call y'all out on it. You didn't like it. Now he's dead. Now you celebrate anybody that talks trash about him, which is horrible. Which is horrible. If you didn't have the balls to say it about him when he was alive, don't say it now. Shut up. Don't say nothing. They said, well, it's not like we can't talk about that. Yeah, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Kevin Samuels wasn't freaking Saddam Hussein. He wasn't Pol Pot. He wasn't Hitler. Uh, he wasn't that dude that was ruling, ruling parts of Africa. For several years terrorizing folks uh, he was also the same ruler that put helped put together the thrilling manila not the thrilling manila the rumble in the jungle with um with um muhammad ali and george foreman i can't think of his name at the moment but y'all know who i'm talking about he wasn't that guy man he was just a dude with a platform and an opinion that's all that's all he was and if it and if it bothered you that much then there probably was some truth to what he was saying. You were probably who he was talking about. And he didn't do it on just women. He did it on men too. He confronted Future. Heck, he, even, he went in harder on Will Smith than he did Jada. So nah, and Pastor Bryant, nah, you been out here and cheated on your now ex-wife multiple times with multiple women that made not one, not two, but last I checked, five one, five babies out of wedlock. Why you been a pastor? I think you're the last one that should be throwing shade at Kevin Samuels. Quite frankly, you're the last one that should be throwing shade. You there, I mean, I understand you gotta make your money, get them tithes and everything. But come on, man. Come on. Come on. And you talk about high value men. And Kevin Samuels, well, you talk about high value men. He wasn't one. And his family making a go for me. I'm like, first of all, if the family chose to, which, by the way, I'm going to clear that up in a second. If the family chose to, that's their business. So what? People make go fundies all the time. Plus, it turns out, it wasn't even nobody in his family. It was a dude that was a fan who made that. It was not his family that made that. And when the GoFundMe was supposedly to pay for funeral expenses, but since then, it's been taken down. So, Pastor Jamal Bryant should have checked his facts before start running his mouth in the pulpit. And furthermore, you kissing up to, I mean, what? You trying to soften up some potential, some potential tail and try to take it in the name of the Lord or something? I mean, come on. Come on. I mean, you the last one. Last I checked, Kevin Samuels was married to the mother of his daughter, which, they you know, they obviously were divorced, but he's only got one kid. You got five. And only think one or two of them are actually with your now former wife. Wife, the others, I think only one maybe might be with your wife. The others were out of wedlock. So, nah. So, nah, nah, brah. Nah. Bad, bad messaging, man. Anyway, if, I guess what got made me look side eye is like him and Vivica Fox who are public figures who have these public platforms who could have confronted this man at any point while he was living they wait till he's dead to me that's coward now if you talk you wasn't a fan and you're still and you still not big up at him just because he did then I don't have a problem with you or if you did confront him while he was alive and you're still standing on it as he's dead, but being peaceful because of, you know, his loved ones, then I ain't got a problem with you. It's these ones that are now coming out who never said a peep, 
who never said a word. They're the ones I'm looking sideways at. And all I got to say is, when you die, I hope people are nicer about you and towards your loved ones than some of you are being about Kevin Samuels. Like I said, I'm not a fan, but I ain't going to rag on the man. If I didn't say it while he was alive, no need of me saying it now. It's too late now. The man's in the ground. Anyway, that's all I got to say on that. Leave your comments in the comment section, and I'm out.